Well, hello and welcome back to Tech Thursday, where we dive into some of the features that make the Renalog system special. And today, we are taking a look at the gate input on Contour 1. So, as you might know, Contour 1 can be controlled in different ways. You have the analog slew input, you have the gate input, and then the trigger input. In this patch we're using two contour ones, one as an envelope generator and the other as an oscillator. Now our envelope generator is being triggered by the step output on step 8, which is being uh, controlled by generator 3. But it's also connected to the first gate output on step 8. So whenever step 8 reaches its first stage, Contra 1 gets a gate signal. And with short release times, you'll hear that this results in a node being held. Basically, we're going from a simple attack release envelope to a attack hold release envelope. Or attack sustain release, or however terminology you prefer. So if I remove this cable, we lose this accented note. The main difference between trigger and gate input is that when triggered, contour will simply rise and fall, while at the gate event, it will rise and stay high as long as the gate is high. So trigger input, it's simply a single event, a gate has a beginning and an end. And having both kinds of inputs on Contour 1 makes it very versatile and allows you to do things like this. Now if we go into loop mode, you'll see that functionality changes. So in loop mode, with the loop switch enabled, the gate input will actually toggle the looping action. So right now we're only hearing the envelope when it actually receives a gate. And we can do some fun things. Because it will be looping multiple times if, if possible, if the times are short enough, during this gate. Now, this same feature works at audio rates, so let's return to our envelope application. We can take the same gate signal and plug it into our oscillator. And now you're hearing the same thing, a gated oscillation, gated loop action on that contour one. Despite the envelope firing furiously. You hear delay one, which is in the patch. A little bit in there, but otherwise it's simply the oscillator being gated. Now 
Now this has a few more performance applications. For example, we could manually gate the oscillator using switch 4. Or we can even do this at audio rates. So let's patch up second contour one at audio frequencies. Take one of the rise fall gate outputs, plug that into the gate input of our main oscillator. And now we've kind of made a Contour 1 complex oscillator pair. So while I play with this uh, idea a little bit longer, let me first thank you for watching this episode of uh, Tech Thursday. I hope you learned something interesting today and uh, see you next time.